Dream, 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 dream. There are three words that are always highlighted in One Piece. Those are dreams, goals, and ambitions. Most of the characters in the series have a goal they are reaching for, a dream that they want to achieve. Our main characters, they have goals they want to do and dreams they want to see fulfilled. Some of those include becoming the world's greatest swordsman, finding the all blue, being a brave warrior to see, and many more. So in this video, I want to talk about the importance of dreams, goals, and ambitions. If you guys enjoy regular anime content, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you guys never miss out on a new video. Also, I've currently started streaming on Twitch where I do different Different reactions to different things i'm currently reading berserk from start to finish for the first time if you guys want to be a part of that i will leave my twitch in the description but with that away my name is potential unleash and let's talk about the importance of dreams in one piece there was a scene in chapter 1060 where luffy told the straw hats his dream he stated that the only people he ever told before them included ace sabo and shanks and a lot of people in the community originally believed that luffy's dream was to become king of the pirates which isn't true um we know that luffy has a separate dream however we do not know what that dream actually is and i'll eventually probably do a video where i speculate my thoughts but in terms of dreams goals and ambitions they kind of intertwine with each other the definition of a dream is a cherished aspiration ambition or idea the definition of a goal is the object of a person's ambition or effort an aim or desired result and then the definition of ambition is a strong desire to do or to achieve something typically requiring determination and hard work a dream is something that you imagine you seek it's greatly desired and you want to make it become a reality and to make that dream come true you set different goals or things to aim for to achieve that dream then you have ambition it's the willpower or desire to reach that goal so that the dream can come true let's look at luffy he learned hockey masters devil fruit fights different marines and pirates that's ambition to become the pirate king that's his goal and then using that goal he hopes that it is able to accomplish his dream which we do not know what it is in sbs volume 4 it talked about why Luffy doesn't kill his opponents. Why doesn't Luffy ever kill his enemies? I read all the manga and he didn't kill Moji and he didn't kill Hemepo or Captain Morgan, although Morgan was done by Zolo. Why is that? Good question. First of all, Captain Morgan is still alive. He was captured by his former men and thrown in the brig. The reason Luffy doesn't kill is this. In his era, men live by their beliefs and risk their lives to defend them. Luffy shatters the beliefs of his enemies by defeating them. For them to suffer defeat and to have their belief destroyed is a is as bad as death. Killing their bodies is besides the points. I feel that as pirates, Luffy and his enemies care more about victory and defeat than they care about their lives. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I used to be one of those people who really wanted Luffy to kill his opponents. But I've changed how I felt about that. Him crushing their dreams is just as impactful. It changes how some of these characters are. They either still go after their dreams, they change it, or they suffer utter defeat and despair. And I'll give you guys an example of this. The example I'm talking about is Zoro and Mihawk. And I'm not saying, I know it talked about Luffy defeating his enemies, but this is the best example that I wanted to showcase. So when Zoro found out that Mihawk was on the Grand Line, he got excited. And then Sanji called them fools who would be killed. Zoro said, true enough, but don't insult us. He said, the day I decided to be the world's greatest swordsman, I gave up my body for dead. Nobody calls me a fool but me. I have my reason. Basically, because his dream is to become the world's strongest swordsman and defeating Mihawk is his goal, the only person that could say his dream is stupid is him. And then as they fight, Mihawk, he attempted to crush his dream. However, he noticed it wouldn't be so easy. After he stabbed him, Zoro said, if I retreat even one step, my vow, my ambition, everything I care about will be shattered and all my dreams will be lost forever. Miyak asked, even if it means death, Zoro said, I prefer death to defeat. As Oda said in the SBS, even if your dreams are shattered, it's the same as defeat and as painful as death. So Zoro showed strong willpower and he values his dream more than his own life, which shows that even death is less painful than a shattered dream. I want to talk about Bellamy because I think he had such an important aspect or a different look when it comes to dreams. And this all happened in chapter 224. He talked about Luffy being gullible, the 
Age of Pirate Pipe Dreams is over. El Dorado, The Emerald City, The One Piece. Fools who are blinded by fantasy treasures can't see the riches lying right at their feet. In this age of the most able seafarers get themselves killed chasing such foolishness and the people say they were lucky to die chasing their dreams. I say they're losers. I personally think there's some truth to what he's saying. Some people get so absorbed and obsessed with their dreams that they don't look at what they have or the things around them. But at the same time, it's not wrong for people to chase their dreams. Like Zoro said, when you decide to do something, the only person who could say you're dumb is you. And we know the rest of Bellamy's story. He was one shot up by Luffy. And then Bellamy, he said he ended up going to the Sky Island where he said it turned his world or his view upside down. And so Luffy, he shattered his beliefs. I was going to say shattered his dream, but at the same time, well, Bellamy didn't really have a particular dream that we know of. But I will say it did change his outlook. I said I agree with Bellamy to a certain extent. He doesn't believe in people chasing their dreams and he calls them fools. And so like Levi said, should people give up on their dreams? Blackbeard raised the question, the age of pirate dreams is over? People's dreams don't ever end. People should never start dreaming. The moment you stop dreaming, what else is there left for you to do? Now, I will say, I do think there's some realism in what you should dream for. And what I mean by that is don't dream of something that's unrealistic. And I'm not just talking about anime. And I'll give you guys an example. Say you want to become an NFL player, but you're 80 years old when you make that claim. It's physically impossible for you to achieve that dream because nobody would draft you because of physical limita limitations. You're not fast enough, not strong enough, and you're very fragile. And there's also some people that say, let them dream or don't crush their dream. And I personally don't necessarily like when people say that because people with that mindset won't act on their dreams and they'll stay in the mindset of, oh, it's only a dream because I personally want to make my dreams become a reality. I know it's not the same, but this is kind of why I love Conqueror's Hockey so much. Whenever people use Conqueror's Hockey, it's a battle of ideas, goals, and dreams. Their will to stand above all. There's Luffy versus Kaido, Doflamingo versus Luffy, Roger versus Wipey, Zoro versus Mihawk. And I know Mihawk's not a confirmed Conqueror's user, but come on, he's a confirmed Conqueror's user. There's also moments where people's goals intertwine. Zoro's goal to beat Mihawk and his dream to become the world's strongest intertwines with Luffy's goal of being the Pirate King. Zoro stated, if you get in the way of my dream, take responsibility for it. And then Luffy was like, the King of the Pirates would need no less than the world's greatest swordsman on my crew. And so as Zoro gets stronger and becomes closer and closer to being the world's strongest swordsman, Luffy, he will be closer and closer to becoming King of the Pirates. There's also some people with the same goals. That means that you're in competition with each other. Let's just say there's two people who are racing and they both want to win. There can only be one winner and one loser, no matter how good of a person you are. And I know I've been doing a lot of Zoro in this video, and I apologize, but I mean, that's just a lot of things that he stands for, a lot of things when it comes to dreams, goals, and ambitions. But Zoro versus King, they were both in similar situations. Both were saved by their captain, Rose vowed not to lose, make them the strongest, make them king of the pirates, um, Kaido and Luffy. And unfortunately for King, he lost and won't be able to achieve that goal. It was a battle of wills and two people, they had the same goal. A winner needed to be decided. Dreams, goals, ambitions, ideals, they're all highlighted all throughout the story. And I only gave a few examples or the ones that resonated with me the most. To make your dream come true, you need to set goals and how strong your ambition is will allow you to achieve that dream. The Straw Hats, they've displayed this plenty of times. And this is for my viewers. I'm telling you guys, follow in their example and go make your dream a reality. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how you guys feel about dreams, goals, ambitions, and how important do you guys think it is in One Piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys never miss out on a new video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. It's on the screen and in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to unleash your potential.